thought I'd make this video real quick just to show how easy it is to get the Oculus Touch controls to be used as a DS4 or the PS4 remote play app. Um, it's actually really easy. Uh, all you need is this uh, service or application, uh, which is the Virtual Gamepad Emulation Framework Bus. Um, you can get it from this site. I'll leave links in the description. Um, you'll need also this application, VDX. Uh, and there's the Vigum bus. And basically, you just install this. And within Virtual Desktop, which I'll switch to, uh, you then enable Emulate Gamepad on PC and enable Use Touch Controllers as Gamepad. And once you've done that, that will install uh, an Xbox, an emulated Xbox controller onto, win onto Windows. Um, You'll need your mouse because the touch controllers will no longer <clears throat> have uh, mouse emulation. Where is my mouse? There it is. So, so once you've got these emulating a gamepad, you go to this application and you'll see player one status connected. Change this to DualShock 4 controller connect. And then we load up. Remote play. Now, currently, the one issue with this is there's no start button. Uh, the developer of Virtual Desktop is planning on implementing um, a shortcut or a key combination, a button combination to allow for a start button. But um, currently, I can't press the options button, which is, you know, the start button on PS4. And I'm just holding the touch controllers. You can see I have menu. And if I grab my mouse, I'll make that full screen. Yeah, ignore that. Um, so now, as you can see, you can hear, I mean, like there's probably a small delay, not noticeable, um, not really. Uh, to some it might be. And if I get the mouse off that menu bar, we can get proper full scroll. <laughs> um, okay, I probably should have gone offline to do this video, but uh, they, they won't mind being famous. Um, so, <clears throat> like I said, you do lose uh, some functionality because they're, not, they're no longer a mouse. I don't know if that zoom, holding the grip button zoom, is a, a normal feature. Um, but if I go to the virtual desktop menu, uh, I'm just trying to remember which one it is. And now when I'm in the menu, I can resize and manipulate the display the way I want. Um, and then I can close it back. And let's go into an existing game. But as you can see, I'm just using the touch controllers, and this is running great. And then you got, you know, the beauty of it is you can make it as big. Uh, how do I push it out? Let's see, height, distance. Uh, yeah, I'm not too... No, you're going to use one controller to move it. That's right. Okay. Makes it kind of small, but what if I move it there? And then... Mm, no. <laughs> well, you know, as you can tell, you, you, you have options. <laughs> I'd probably... Uh, I'd probably make it a bit bigger than that. Let's, there we go. Oh, yeah, that's huge. That is massive. Uh, that's full-size cinema screen. 
and I'm pressing the wrong button again. I'm probably taking a screenshot. And back, hold down, back. It is a little bit of playing around with the buttons to get the menus to come and go, but once you know what they are, <laughs> they'd stop messaging. Once you know what the buttons are, um, it's really quite easy to, uh, to do. Uh, remembering which buttons are weak probably take a little bit of time. Yeah, there you go, guys. Um, give it a try. Good luck. Have fun.